The Sigma males believe that confidence is the most beautiful thing you can possess. They believe that it benefits more to be confident than to be rich and fearful. Because of the lone wolf's confidence, every other person feels that they can't compete with them. And that always places them at a great advantage. You will always find your God-given ability and natural talents during your most confident moment. The Sigma males know that lack of confidence is contagious, so they associate more with fearless and highly confident people. Today's video will discuss how Sigma males assess people's confidence. Before a Sigma male becomes close to anybody, they tend to assess their confidence level. And more often than none, Sigma males see more people with little or no confidence these days. I know failing the Sigma male's confidence test is not the end of the world. But you may miss a huge opportunity. Whatever type of relationship the Sigma male wants to establish with you, he will first want to know your confidence level. For instance, you can't become the Sigma male's business partner if you are as fearful as a rabbit. You are less likely to succeed in any endeavor if you aren't confident. Most times, there are untapped and endless opportunities behind the war of fears. And if you can't emancipate yourself from this shackle of fear, you can't grow in your professional and personal life. People without growth potential can't be friends with the lone wolves. Here are four ways Sigma males assess people's confidence. When people don't take responsibility for their actions, one of the ways to easily spot people who don't have confidence is not taking responsibility for their actions. These people are so concerned about other people's opinions about them that they are afraid to take responsibility for their actions. It's possible that these people had traumatic experiences like criticism, painful abuse, rejection, betrayal, etc. As a result, they are no longer confident of themselves and are unwilling to take responsibility for their actions. Whenever they make a mistake, they find a way to criticize the system or judge those working with them. Once the Sigma male notices this trait in you, he immediately knows that you lack self-confidence. Defensive body posture. Your body posture can project your self-confidence to a sensitive personality like the Sigma male. Every gesture you make says a lot about your personality. The Sigma males can tell if you are confident, trustworthy, and fearful from your gesture. So, if you have a habit of always using defensive body posture like folding hands or crossing your legs while talking, you obviously don't have confidence in yourself. Not making eye contact. The ability to make eye contact is one of the most important nonverbal cues the Sigma male uses to assess people's self-confidence, self-esteem, and assertiveness. Once you start looking down or looking around during a conversation, you give the other person the impression that you are nervous. If you can't maintain eye contact when conversing with the Sigma male, he immediately knows that you lack self-confidence. Believe me, the Sigma male will find it really difficult to deal or do business with someone who has lost their self-confidence or self-esteem. Making eye contact 60-70% during a conversation helps you connect with whoever you are talking to. A study by the App Research Institute revealed that eye contact shows your social hierarchy and dominance in a conversation. How they behave when in a stressful situation. How you behave in a stressful situation can say a lot about you and your self-confidence. Most times, people lose their cool when in a stressful situation. If you don't have self-confidence or have low self-esteem, you tend to be easily agitated, confused, frustrated, and moody. People who lack self-confidence are always clueless during stressful situations. They will find it difficult to relax and quiet their minds so that they can think of a creative solution. So, once a Sigma male observes that you feel bad about yourself, lonely, worthless, or depressed, he will immediately figure out that you lack self-confidence. 
Do you always assess people's self-confidence before dealing with them? Kindly share your thoughts in the comment section.